This is Dallas Toller Wade of Nile, and you are watching Get In The Pit TV. So, um, your latest album, Ithophallic, has been out now for almost like six months. Um, is it still causing an enormous erection among the band and now among the fans you have been doing here in Finland? I think so, I think so. We're, we're always excited to play, you know, the new material and, you know, even though the stuff's almost a year old for us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we really enjoy just playing. And uh, we're really excited, and we enjoy playing the new material a lot. We enjoy playing the old material also, but, you know, some of the older songs, after you've played them for 10 years, you know, it's just not quite the same. Unless you put them down for a while. Mm -hmm. Then you, we pick them back up, it's like, oh, it's fresh again, you know. But yeah, um, we feel that uh, we're really, really happy about the response that we've gotten from Ithyphalic, actually. Well, does it ever bother you that all the fans and journalists are always asking you about this hijab thing, just like they're asking about uh, your drummer, just calling us about drumming? Uh, no, I mean, you know, they're valid questions. People people want to know these things, and, uh, you know, we should answer them. It's just part of it, you know, it's just part of what we do, and, you know, if anybody has any curiosity about it, we're usually more than happy to, you know, tell them what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Atafalic is your fastest yet the most diverse and technical album up to date. Um, so do you have any idea where to go from now on, how you can top this one? Um, yeah, you know, uh, we always work to uh, learn and learn new stuff. You know, we're always learning. So, you know, not so much for the, uh, well yeah, we want to become better players, of course. We want to do better as, you know, in how we play. but. You also want to keep our eyes open and our minds open to other ideas and things to try and experiment with for each album. And uh, we usually have material left over. We'll be like, well, damn, you know, the album's almost already an hour long and we've got this, this, and this. Well, we'll just hold that and let those ideas gestate a little bit more. And, uh, you know, next time around, we've already got something to start working with. Um, with the, all these new guitars you guys have always pushing, to, so do you really think that you are sort of redefining the whole death metal genre as such? Uh, no, I don't really look at it that way. Uh, I think that, you know, we're just a band that enjoys playing extreme music and, you know, we want to grow as musicians mm -hmm. and, and as songwriters. And that's, that's the main focus of the band and, and the teamwork involved. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to work together as a team and you know, big, make the best music possible. Mm -hmm. And that's really simple, basic kind of focus, but it's, mm -hmm. it is very straightforward and focused on, you know, what we do. Mm -hmm. And that's really pretty much it. You know, the rest of it does, is not very important to us. So do you see this, uh, well, I sort of find similarities between your music and 70s proc, aggressive music and rock music, which just took things so far away from everything else that has been done before. I find lots of similarities in, in, in a way. Yeah, we have a lot of different influences, um, ranging from, you know, blues, old classic rock, all the way up into, you know, very, very extreme metal. And if it's got heavy guitars and drums, we're, we're pretty much into it, you know. Um, and yeah, we do have a pretty wide range of influences, also concerning like movie soundtracks and stuff like that. You know, we find that those big epic compositions, you know, it's just godlike mm -hmm. and you know that inspires us to try and capture some of that same same feeling in our music 